모든 건 변했다. 히트 시즌 2. What is up? I'm Tasteless. Joined with Valdez, and we're here for another day. Pro League 2016. How you doing, buddy? Doing pretty good. Got to be some good games we got coming up here. I know I always say that, but today, just like yesterday, today you really be. mean it. Yeah, I, I really mean <laughs> I it today. Really, just really like all it. the other days that I mean it. I love my job. I yeah, love man. these these matchups. I've been so happy this year doing Pro League, man. It's so fun to come down here. I've been doing so many individual leagues, like in Korea and outside Korea, but. I, this tournament is very special. It's just, it's so much more interesting to see the two teams come down and duke it out, to see the players support each other, to see that drama unfold. And uh, yeah, this is going to be, I think, a fantastic day. Although it also, in all fairness, in all honesty, may be a very one-sided day. Yeah, it definitely could be. I mean, you look at uh, the matchups that we have, SKT versus Samsung to start the day, and then you got Jinner versus CJ Entis. Now, Jin Air is the best team by far nowadays. Uh, even over KT, yeah. they made it look, you know, it, it did go to the ace match, but the games they were winning were very one-sided. And um, CJ is just, uh, has fallen off, right? Hero and Biel, they're yeah, not really carrying their weight as much. Oddly enough, yeah, which is a bit unexpected. They're um, not even playing MC today, right? I mean, they, yeah. they brought this new guy on, and he, he looked amazing. He was able to defeat Zest in a PvP, but then they don't use him again. Uh, after he took a loss the uh, the second time he came out here, so kind of an interesting lineup there. And then the first one, SKT versus Samsung. SKT is having uh, probably the worst uh, round that they've ever had. They're 0 3 right now. Yeah, which is which just is, insane. Well, that's that's really crazy. Historically, they've been the best esports team of all time. So yeah. it's it's a kind of a shocker. Yeah, there it is, right at the bottom of our screen. 0 3. I feel like I'm in a parallel universe right now, saying that. Uh, the rest of this, um, it, this is for, especially for top two, pretty. Pretty non-surprising. Jin Air uh, on top. KT, of course, uh, they've got a pretty stellar lineup uh, of one-on-one -on -one, uh, players that they can dish out here. Now, the Afrika Freaks are not doing bad at all, and that's very uh, yeah. interesting. I think that, out of the entire group, might be the most interesting story here, since that is a brand new team, the newest StarCraft II team in Korea. Yeah, for sure. We got our winner's ranking here. Maru, Hero, and Zest up at the top, but Maru is 14-1. and one. He's only Man. taken one loss, which is just... It's, it, you have to imagine how hard that is to do in one of the most competitive leagues in the world, well, if I not mean, the most. 14 and 1 is, is just insane. Okay, normally if you got like a 60% win record, yeah. you're, you're damn good. Yeah. Um, you're quite scary. Here's going to be our lineup today Dark vs. Solar, Impact vs. Hurricane, Classic vs. Reality, and if we do go to Game 4, Innovation vs. Deer. Now, Deer, I feel like, is their strongest player, and it's kind of an odd spot that he's brought out here at number 4. Hey, it could really come back to bite them, especially if, you know, Dark is on his game again. You can see he's got that downwards arrow, and that's because the last couple times he's come out, he's really dropped the ball. He took yeah. two losses, actually, uh, one time against the Afrika Freaks. He lost to Alive, and then he lost to Patience in the Ace match. So it's not the Dark that we're used to seeing. And uh, today I actually bet that he was going to be on his game and that SKT, you know, they got the whips yeah. out. They're like, you guys are really messing up. You know, we got to we gotta uh, practice a bit more. We got to get our stuff together here. Yeah, I wonder if we're too stuck in the past. Oh, by the way, guys, here we go. Definitely check it out. I am in Shanghai. In Shanghai, not at Shanghai. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the Gold Challenger match, meaning yeah. the finals of Round 3 playoffs. That is going to be on July 31st, that Sunday. I'm going to be there. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to cast because I'm you actually doing, doing interviews. Right? Yeah, I'm doing interviewing stuff, which is definitely new for me. But it's going to be, be fun. A, fun, a fun experience for sure. Oh, no, I, I think that'll be really fun. Um, so let's see. Let's see how, what Dark's condition is going to be here today. Uh, he is up against Solar. Solar is, I think, pretty solid, consistent Zerg. Uh, I would say this should be a pretty close match. Wow, okay. It's not right, as close yeah. as you can get. <laughs> there you go. Eight and eight here. So uh, let's see. It's going to be one game. Anything could happen. Uh, as you were saying, Valdez Dark is not playing as well as I think we're all used to seeing here. Yeah, I mean, even Solar getting some extra votes here. Uh, generally, in the past, you know, maybe a couple of weeks ago, everybody would be voting for Dark, I would yeah. assume. But uh, not the case today. By the way, Wolf is up at the top. He yep. is one prediction ahead of me and Daehyun. Tasteless is at the bottom for the foreign casters. It's all right. There's still time. We're duking, I'm duking it out for number two biggest loser right now <laughs> to the casters. Kanata really dropped the ball this time around. He's, he didn't make some crazy predictions, yeah. man. He's a little like GTR. GTR has surprised me with his prediction yeah. as well. Anyways, guys, let's go into game number one.
Dark versus Solo. Introducing our players in the bottom left. He is dark. And in the bottom right, in the blue, Solar. Got another ZVZ all lined up for you guys. Uh, the Zerg's doing very well yesterday, at least in the Gen Air versus KT matchup. We had uh, three Zerg wins. They went 3-0. and Rogue took two of those wins over Zest. Uh, known as the best Protoss or best player even in the world. So maybe uh, David Kim rethinking that buff to, to Zerg perhaps. <laughs> maybe Rogue showing the, the way for the Zergs nowadays. It's, it's good for Rogue to kind of be getting back on top as well. I mean, he's been having a hard time, um, uh, you know, especially in the past month or so. Now, uh, on this map, we did see that early drone scout um, actually going... Uh, using that bridge. This map's pretty interesting. It's it's New Gettysburg. Uh, definitely one of the newest StarCraft 2 maps that's in use. But yeah, this this bridge area in the lower center is it makes for some interesting games. I think especially in ZBZ, because if you get Bane Link control on your side of the bridge, I mean links cannot get out. Yeah. So I don't know I don't know if this necessarily if it doesn't end right away, it has to be a long game. Like you won't have an average ZBZ length game. Okay, so we got we got solar right now uh, blocking the uh, would be hatch. Looks like Dark just now got it down. Looks like Slipped was, it in there. APM uh, was uh, split somewhere else for a second, so didn't manage to deny that. Um, and and uh, we also see that Dark is going to be getting that spawning pool done pretty quickly. Now, this is a pretty big-ass map, so I'm not <laughs> sure if you have to worry too much if your pool is a little bit later here. Yeah, I, I think so far Solar definitely getting the better end of the builds. So uh, Dark going for more of a safe build here, just wanting to get that pool out and the speed very quickly and uh, just make sure he doesn't die to anything. It's not a super early pool, it's just pool before hatch. And uh, Solar did, of course, get the scout off too, so he should be totally fine. So we have the pool now uh, finishing here for Solar. And we're gonna have to wait a little bit here. ZBZ I mean, can kind of call the uh, the production tab to some extent, but you gotta kind of wait until you see maybe like a huge lane explosion or a layer start to pop up. Um, a lot of times at ZBZ, you can see two different builds start out, um, you know, looking quite different, and they kind of end up in the same spot. So it's always important not trying to glean too much just from the initial openers. Yeah. I mean, in general, the, the hats first, I think, only gets a very, very slight advantage. You know, with the pool first, you get your earlier queen, you get the larva explosion. It's uh, different benefits, of course. Right, yeah. Um, now, we got Solar going for the Banelings Nest here. Now, I, I do wonder if, if there will be any aggression here from Link Bane at all. I think that Baneling Nest is almost more for looks. Uh, I think <laughs> he looks, wants to have that. He I wants think, to, you know, shore up the base, make it look a little bit more get, shiny. Get the real estate a little bit more valuable at that mm -hmm. base. No, what I'm saying is, like, uh, you know, it's acts as a deterrent for Link Banes, right? Uh, now, down here for Dark in the, in the bottom left corner of his main, he's actually going for a Roach Warren uh, and with a Baneling Nest behind that. Yeah, and he's already made a good number of links here. He has gone up to 10, and it looks like he wants to put on a little bit of aggression while he has that speed advantage, but the speed is going to finish up here for Solar, and he also made four main links, so... Uh, okay, so he's be actually totally got safe. the links coming around here. Seems like Solar with some decent star, star sense. No! Okay, I thought he was actually going to go check down there for those. He needs to stay out of the vision of this. Okay, he's been spotted. Now the goal, uh, as I'm sure many of you guys know, is to try to get one or two links targeted on their bane link to try to chip it off and take it out because you get a lot more value out of that. Um, also note that Solar is going for a third base now and a later Roach War. And meanwhile, nine Roaches on the way here. This link right here for Solar is so important. That's he right. He needs to scout the Roaches or he needs to see the drones. Okay, he sees he knows. the Roaches. He knows. And now he needs to prepare some kind of defense, but his Roach Warren is not ready. And he's supply blocked. He's floating 400 minerals at this point, making two overlords. Oh, it looks like he almost went the wrong way for a second there. Now, I believe the Lings that are running around here distracting Solar are going to be turned into Bane Lings. Now, he's making a dozen Bane Lings. Okay, wait. We see being made now. I don't know. There it is. All right. So he's going to make that. And the threat of the, uh, the Roaches coming in here does force Solar um, to try to, you know, get control of this, of this choke point. 
but those banelings are going to finish up. I actually think Solar might be in a lot of trouble here, Valdez. I think he may have overdrawn just a little bit or saw this a little bit too late. He's making nine roaches now, but the army of Dark is already here, and these banelings for Solar are being sniped now. Oh, very poor connects. The spine crawler not quite done yet. Uh, it looks like the banelings are going to go ahead and come in here now. And now uh, we see Dark being pretty frugal with those banes. He detonates them. Uh, onto that spine crawler. Now he's going to continue to come forward. And there's a lot more links of banelings being made here right now for Dark. But Dark needs to get his links up over here to block off. Here come the banelings now for Dark moving in. The drones have been pulled. The drones going back now, and there's still banelings left over. I think Dark just think rolls over this army. Well, this was a basic bro ZBZ. But uh, I'll tell you what, it worked. No late game this time around. It's going to be Solar who's going to tap out Dark with the comeback right now after having some lackluster game previously. The comeback kid. The comeback kid. Solar getting a little bit too greedy in this yeah. game. Going for that third base. Well, I got to say, I think I think that having the Roaches come out was great, but the fact that he hit those legs and then made the Bane legs, they were able to get over there very effectively. And so this game is is, is over. I mean, I, I don't think there's any way that you can actually recover from this. Uh, we don't even really have drones mining anywhere. There it is. GG. Dark finally getting that win that he had been missing for quite a while here at Pro League. I think he took three losses in a row, which is very undark like but he finds that success. The CBC on New, New Gettysburg, and he looks very, very happy to yep. do so. I gotta say, I mean, that, he made that look very easy. It was pretty ABC, you know. Uh, not too much more we can really remark uh, about on that map. Uh, yeah, I mean, just very basic, right? It, it yeah. wasn't like there was a huge mistake made. I think maybe if Solar scouted a little bit more and identified that the push was coming earlier, he could have yeah. dealt with it. You know, maybe yeah. even cancel the third base, prepare a couple of spines and he would have been ready for it, but he just saw it come in too late. And even though it is a big map, you have that bridge that goes directly over to your natural. And Dark was able to use that, put on a bit of aggression there, and take the win. Yeah, uh, Dark did it. I actually thought this was going to be like a long dramatic. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The CBG just starts up off. I was like, all right, guys, well, there's not much we can say. And then I see those roaches coming, and I'm like, oh, that spine crawler's not quite done yet. Um, you know, that third base. I don't know, I mean, I, I get what Solar was thinking, but the same way I view the map, I feel like that's a map you really want to be in late game, CBZ on with Dark. He had the timing, and I think with those really well-placed links, he closed it out. We're going to be going to our next match in just a second here. Um, but so far, a yeah. good start here for SK Team. For sure. I mean, they, they needed Dark to take that win to get them off to a good start. You know, they don't want to get deer there if possible. SKT, the best yeah. situation for them is obviously a 3-0. So they don't have to see deer. They get the best indicator points possible. I, I, I totally agree with what you're saying. And it's kind of interesting because I, I think this is a totally fair statement. Deer is the best player on the team. Yeah. Am, I, am no, I wrong no, about you're, that? You're, okay. <laughs> I think like, everybody would anybody be in out here. I think you there's look one at all the guy players. out there that's like, no, reality's no, the best. Man, Tazels, you don't get it. But in seriousness, uh, I would expect that you would have to put Deer out earlier, right? Because Deer is one of the only guys yeah, who, can, I mean, who you can pretty much count on winning his game. But yeah, I mean, if SKT can, can get this into a, a three game streak of winning, then Deer's not even in the picture. Yeah. Um, I mean, this, odd happens, planning here. this happens sometimes where players want to play on a specific map, and it just right. turns out that it's map number four, and they're like, Someone on our team is probably going to win, right? And then nobody wins, and then it's a 3-0, and then all of a sudden they're like face bombing, like, oh, we should have put out Deer on a different map. Yeah, you know? exactly. I mean, it's, it happens. So sure. uh, we're going to be hopping into game number two. Again, that game was a lot shorter uh, than I think we were all expecting.